All right, class, we are reading the story, Sea Otter Pups. This is an informational text. It's gonna be a super fun one because as you see from this picture, sea otter pups are super cute. We're gonna learn all about sea otter pups and what they do. We're gonna learn new things on every page and every picture and every graphic. So make sure you are paying close attention to all the details from the page, each page, because at the end, I'm gonna ask you to do some writing. I want you to write about what the central idea the big idea, the main thing that the author is trying to tell us. And then you're gonna add some details. So you're gonna write some notes while you're reading the story that you learn about sea otter pups because what are some of the details that you're gonna learn that are gonna support that central idea that you're gonna identify? Let's get right into it. But before we do that, let's take a look at some real sea otter pups because they are super cute video open and let's get right into it. Days after a wild sea otter gave birth to an adorable little pup at the great tide pool at the Monterey Bay Aquarium, the two loved to snuggle together. pup tries to sleep while laying on top of her mom floating in the tide pool in this video by Viral Hop. Let's see if we can get a little bit more of that cut there on the mom. Will we provide any care to the baby? No need to. Mom is on the job. This is not a rescue the otter situation. This is just a wild sea otter close to human beings situation. The wild California sea otter sought refuge at the tide pool to give birth to the baby. The mom has spent time grooming and fluffing her newborn's fur to help her float. The aquarium says that they'll likely stay in the area a little longer before heading out in the wild. The Monterey Bay Aquarium rescues, rehabilitates, and releases stranded sea otter pups. They also care and seek homes for sea otters who are no longer able to survive in the wild. Be sure to watch Inside Edition. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen anything so cute as that sea otter pup being held by its mother as they float through the water on their back. So let's get right into this. The story is called Sea Otter Pups. The author is Ruth Owen. First page, meet a sea otter. The sea otter and her pup are floating in the ocean. The mother otter is resting on her back. The little pup is cuddled up on his mother's belly, just above the water. And here we see labels pointing to the different parts of the picture so we know what we're looking at. And just like in that video, we see right here a mother sea otter and down here a sea otter pup. That word pup, just like a puppy for a baby dog. So here's a baby sea otter. Oh my goodness, he certainly looks cozy and happy. This book is the cutest. What is a sea otter? Sea otters are animals that live in the ocean. They are about as big as a medium-sized dog. Sea otters have very thick fur. The fur helps keep the otter's body warm and dry in the cold water. And in the upper right corner there, we see some silhouettes, a picture of an adult sea otter size. You can see what the sea otter looks like next to a little girl and her mother. Looks like maybe about the same size as a dog. And in this picture, we see the adult sea otter. And down at the lower label, can you read what that says? It's pointing to the sea otter's fur. It says she has thick fur. So we are learning a lot on this page. Remember, we're thinking about what is this whole story about? What are we learning about? And what are some of the details? Feel free to pause the video and write down some of the details you're learning from each page. Next, we're gonna find out something else. Where do sea otters live? I like the way each page gives us a question. And then we find out the answer on that same page, nice and easy. Where do sea otters live? Although sea otters live in the ocean, they stay close to the shore. Hmm, the shore, that's a word that we've talked about in class before. It's like the coast right near the edge where the beach is. Although sea otters live in the ocean, they stay close to the shore. The yellow parts of this map show where sea otters live. Can you see the yellow parts highlighted? 
looks like they live all over. I see the United States has some yellow there and Canada and Alaska. Hmm, they must be okay where it's cold. Then all the way across the ocean near all those little islands over to Russia. That map is showing us where sea otters live and here the labels are still pointing to sea otters and then Oh, I see right there, it's pointing to the shore. Just the edge of the land where the land meets the water. Here's another label. Oh, there's our mother sea otter again. And then just a one week old pup. So that is just a newborn little baby. A newborn pup, this page tells us. A mother sea otter gives birth in the ocean to just one pup at a time. After the pup is born, she places it on her chest to keep it warm. Then she feeds it milk from her body. A pup drinks its mother's milk until it's about four to six months old. So for a long time, those otter pups are just like babies being cared for by their mother, floating around in the water on their mother's belly while she floats on her back. Remember at any point, you can pause this video take some notes, write down some details about the central idea. The next page says learning to swim. A newborn sea otter cannot swim, but it can float really well. It floats on top of the water like a beach ball. The mother sea otter gives her pup swimming lessons. By the time it is about 14 weeks old, let's see, 14 weeks, that's about three and a half months old, the pup is able to swim and dive. And here in this nice blue water, it does look really nice. We see a floating mother sea otter. And next to her there is her floating pup. So looks like the pup is trying to be just like mama, floating on its back. Oh, we're learning some more things I wondered about when we first got into this book. Sea otter food. Sea otter adults and pups eat crabs, clams, and other shellfish. The mother otter dives under the water to hunt for food. She teaches the pup how to dive and find shellfish too. So here we see the labels show us what we're looking at. We see a clam up in the top. Have you ever eaten a clam? I wonder if you like what a clam tastes like. Then we have some crab. I know I've heard some of you really like to eat crabs. It eats crabs. There's the mother otter again and Oh, you can almost not even see that pup there because the pup is so wet. It's hard to even tell that we're looking at a pup. All right, time for dinner. Once the mother sea otter finds a clam, she swims back up to the water's surface. That word surface, that means just the top of the water. She also brings a rock with her and lays it on her belly. Then she smashes the clam onto the rock to open its shell. Wow, these sea otters, they're a lot like people. She's sort of using a rock as a tool, just like the tools we might use in the kitchen. The mother otter and the pup share the clam meat. So now again, we're looking at the labels pointing to a clam. There's our little buddy, the sea otter pup down the bottom with the mother otter. And it looks like she's feeding her little baby some clam meat. Mmm, looks like he's enjoying it. That'd be funny to eat your breakfast just floating in the water with your mother, huh? Okay, remember, pause the video, write down any details you might see, then we'll continue. Even in the water, they're even doing this. Look at this, I see from the label, there's the sleeping adult sea otter. And she's all covered with something. What does that say? Can you read that word? It says kelp. Let's see if we learn what kelp is. It says, good night. When it's time to sleep, an adult sea otter sometimes wraps seaweed around its body. The seaweed, called kelp, is attached to the ocean floor. Wow. So they go down and must get some seaweed and then they wrap themselves up and make a nice cozy blanket. They really are like you and me. It holds the otter in one place. This keeps the waves from carrying the otter out into the ocean. I guess that would be a worry. If they were just sort of floating there, they would drift away. So this holds them in one place because it's attached and they sort of just wrap it around. 
Sometimes the mother otter also wraps kelp around the pup as it sleeps on her chest. Well, that just sounds delightful and cozy. What a nice life these sea otters have. Growing up, when a pup is between six and 12 months old, and remember 12 months, that's one year old, it leaves its mother. It knows how to dive underwater to hunt for food. It can use rocks to crack open shellfish. The pup is now ready to begin its grown-up life. So just when it's one year old, it's now ready to be a grown-up. Here we see, you can see what the otter pup is eating right there. Some nice, delicious clam meat. And right there, oh, looks like he has his whole breakfast ready for him. If you look at the label at the bottom pointing, what's on his stomach there? He's eating a whole bunch of clams. All right. Now would be a good time to pause, reread the story, or rewatch the video if you're working with the video. Make sure to pause it as many times as you need to so you're locking this whole story in your brain. Because now I want you to answer some questions. The first question, based on the reading, write a response to the following two questions. Be sure to write complete sentences. Question one, what is the central idea of the story? and give me three details that support the central idea. So remember, we're talking about what is the big idea, the main thing the author is trying to tell us. Write that as a complete sentence. The central idea of this story is, and then give me three supporting details, three things that you also learn from this book that support that idea, and write those in nice, complete sentences right there on this slide. Last question, now I want you to get creative. Imagine that you are a scientist observing a mother sea otter and her pup in their habitat. That's one of our science words that we've been talking about, habitat. We're looking just like we looked at that video of a sea otter mother and her pup. Describe what you see, what you hear. Use details from the text and photographs, things that you learn, but write five sentences. What are you looking at? What are you seeing them doing? What do a mother and pup do together? Get creative, but make sure to use the text as your reference. When you are all done, finish all your subjects and submit your work. I hope you enjoyed this story. You might want to watch it again. I know I'm going to watch this whole thing again because those sea otters are sure cute. Maybe I'm even going to look for some other videos of them.